Hey guys, it's Brandon with Helen Exotics here. Um, today's video is going to be pretty short. Um, it's about to pour down some rain here. Um, but I'm going to go over just kind of how to sex a cicada tortoise, um, the size they need to be in order to tell. Um, so you're not guessing, that's a typical beginner um, issue or problem that people have is they get a smaller one, a hatchling, yearling, even a couple years old, and they think it's automatic female because they look like it, right? Um, it's wrong. So stay tuned, and we'll go over that in different ways. Okay, so for our first example, this is big. Um, got him off a of Craigslist. Um, small, he's about two pounds, or she, he. Um, it is too small, too sexed. Um, I know a lot of people, they try to guess, as in, for instance, I'm gonna show you real quick. The model of this one, um, it is shaped like a V. Um, and people automatically assume, oh, that's a female, right? Because typically it would be an adult or a, a juvenile, a little bit bigger, semi-adult, uh, young adult. Um, but for instance, this is too small to tell, okay? Um, he's roughly about about seven inches or so from front to anal scoot. Um, and that's how you measure them. You don't measure over the shell, go straight to here. So. Blooper, he just pissed on me. Peed on me, sorry. He's going. He's healthy. He's very healthy. <laughs> he didn't like to be picked up, so I advise you not to pick these tortoises up as often as you can. Um, I don't ever really pick them up, only bring them inside and out whenever the weather's bad. But uh, I'm gonna put them back real quick. So, on our next example, next size up, um, this is Dolly. Um, she is roughly about seven years old. Um, she is a young, very young adult female. Um, she is roughly about 14 inches, 14, 15, about 15 inches actually now, from here to here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bottom side of her. As you can tell, she is more of a V. It's coming down into the females will make a V here with the anal scoots. Um, that is for the passing of um, eggs. It will kind of round out almost like a U, a U shape, um, or a horseshoe is another example. Um, but she is big enough to sex, and that's kind of this size right here. Uh, she's about 30 something pounds. She's roughly an idea for females at least. Uh, males will sometimes flash. Um, this, as I was describing, this isn't always the case. Um, sometimes there are males at 12 inches that will flash, or even 13 inches or more that will flash um so i kind of just go based off the tail this tail right here as you can tell um you see how it's small and stubby um that's a good indicator that she is a female and they all are typically like that when they're young but when they're that size um flat bottom you can tell it's flat as can be a uh, very strong indicator that is a female so next up on our um, examples, um, this is gonna be Dixie. Um, she is roughly 20 years old or more. Um, she is a proven breeder. Let's go ahead and show you the size of her. So this is another female. You can tell this is, you see the uh, U shape that I was describing here. Um, she's about 60 pounds or so, but you can kind of get an idea of see flat bottom um, but yeah this is another this is an actual adult I don't think she'll grow she may grow she may um, but I've had her for about a year now weight wise she's gained about 10 pounds uh, nothing too crazy um, she may lay soon I don't know we'll see last but not least is my male cicada speedy um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you him. He's the only guaranteed sex male that I have here. Um, here he is. So, see the size of him? I've had him since I was in fourth grade. Um, cool little guy. See the size of him? Um, last time I weighed him, he was a little above 70. That was last uh, August. I usually weigh him uh, before the fall or after the summer and before the summer. Um, okay, so for the males, 
he's a little dirty. So, you see that ginormous flare out of the anal scoots coming through here? Um, the tail's a lot longer. Tail's over here typically on the males. You see the concavity on, on the males? Um, he is only, he is about, uh, he's about 15 years old or so. Um, I had him since he was about two pounds. Uh, he was kept inside, got him off Craigslist. He's grown a lot since then. Um, and the males will typically, uh, it's getting heavy every time I pick them up. Uh, right here, the concavity I was talking about, will typically, he's peeing on me too. That's why I don't pick them up, because they will pee on me. Um, the older they are, I have seen the more they breed, that it'll start to wear down a little bit more in the inside. Some of them are very deep concavity. Um, but for this one, I you can definitely tell it's male. So with that being said, uh, in order to tell the difference between the size of them um, and the sex of them, would be wait till they're minimal. Let's see if we can get that one in the shot back there. The one back over here, um, roughly that size. Um, that's a good, it's a good start on um, size-wise uh, to get a good guess. I hope this video was a little helpful. Um, comment below um, if you have any questions or what you want to see in this next couple videos. Um, I will be starting a new series on psychotic care. Um, sexing is what I'm doing now. Um, just the care tips that I do personally that I've always done. Um, and each series might be a different species uh, that will go over leopards, um, radiated, um, mountain tortoises, redfoots, so uh, aldebras, uh, aldabras, whatever y'all want to call them. Uh, so yeah, comment below what y'all want to see uh, in the future videos and give us a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.